So originally this was going to have a saw that dropped down and cut. I uh, have a change of plan. I'm going to end up putting a shear cutter behind this tube. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. This will all be guarded. This will all have guarding uh, sheet metal over it. Um, this saw will be gone, like I said, and there will be a shear down here. It's all programmable. We're gonna have a real simple user uh, interface right here. So if you're selecting a 12, 24, 36, 48, whatever size bar, uh, you would select the button, green light would come on, the other ones would go red to indicate that you're running a 12 inch. And then the other size tubes, there's four other tubes, they're not installed but it'll operate on the same concept. Uh, and then whatever tube you're running, you'll have a selector switch, you push button, you just select whichever one you're running. Each tube will be lit up, so the operator will know what tube they have selected. It kind of takes the thinking out of it. Um, the control cabinet will probably be mounted under here, the control box with all the electronics. Right now they're just kind of prototyped on this cart so I can move it around. Um, the spools of netting, I don't know if you can see it back there. There's a spool of netting. So the spools of netting will probably set underneath the machine. So when one's empty, you just pull it out and put a new spool on there. And then it'll have rollers to guide it back up into the one of the five tubes that are here. This will have a safety device on it, so if somebody's finger's in there, it's not gonna close, it'll stop itself. Um, all this chain will be hidden, you won't be able to get to the chain. <clears throat> Along with the shear, you won't be able to access the shear either unless you take off uh, the panels to get to it. It will have some manual functions to be able to manually jog, manually reset the machine, um, and all that will come down to the programming of it. So uh, once it's all done and I start running into some problems with it running, I'll be able to deal with that. But for the most part, it all operates uh, as should be. Um, right now it's bare bones, so a lot of this will change. It'll get another set of chains over here to keep everything equal as it's running. But uh, yeah, this is my second version of my automatic plastic netting machine.